Hi, it's Kyle with Bytewing Games. My wife and I are right now just finishing building our brand new house, and we're really excited. And it just seemed fitting to talk about Welcome 2. Welcome 2 is a game for 1 to 100 players that plays in about 25 minutes. Wait, wait. Did you hear me right? 1 to 100 players. That sounds crazy, right? And that's one thing that I love about Welcome 2, is that it can be a perfect game for a large family gathering or a big group of friends where you want to do something other than play another game of charades. In Welcome 2, you are an architect trying to build three city blocks, but just like a real architect, you, you have to create houses in numerical order. So how to actually play Welcome 2, you will have three stacks of cards, and each round you will flip the top card of each stack and then you will select the number, the house number, and also the associated action on the card next to it. So what's unique about this is that no player actually takes any of the cards that are available. What you do instead is each player will have a player mat here in front of them, and you will select one of the numbers and the associated action, and you will write that on your own player board. For example, if you choose to select the 10, you also take the associated pool action or bonus next to it. So looking at your player sheet, you would write a 10 on one of the houses. Now, if you choose a house that has a pool on it, you have used that bonus and you get to cross off at the bottom of your player sheet one of the pool symbols. So now at the end of the game, rather than earning zero points, you are earning three points for having built a pool you can see that you can earn a lot of points by building a lot of the houses with the pool bonus symbol. You can earn up to 36 points by doing that. Now there are six unique actions or bonuses that you can take, one of those being the pool. Each time you take one of these bonuses, you get to cross off something to earn more points at the end of the game. But the tricky part is you have to balance the house number that you need and want with the associated action that you need or want. In Welcome 2, the main way to earn points is by having consecutive houses that are fenced in. And so what I mean by that is here in this section, I could have a 3, 4, and 5. And as you can see, I have little lines here on the side of the board. That's showing that they are fenced in. Fencing houses in is one of the special bonus actions that you can take on your turn. So now that I have this section of three houses that are all fenced in, I will earn three points at the end of the game for having that. One thing I haven't mentioned yet is the objectives. Each game you will select three objective cards. The objectives are things like have three houses fenced in together and have another set of four houses all fenced in together. And the first player to do so earns seven points. All other players who do so earn three points. So there's incentive to be the first one to do that. The game ends in one of three ways. Once someone has filled in all of their houses, once someone can't put one of the available numbers into any of the houses, or once someone has completed all three of the objectives. So, is Welcome to fun? I absolutely love the objectives in the game. Some games I feel like you're working towards an objective, you have all the resources, and someone else snatches it just before you get to it, and you now have all these resources that aren't really valuable. Welcome 2 steps around that problem by having objectives that everyone can complete and earn some points for, but the first person to do so gets bonus points, and I absolutely love that. I also love the player count. It can play as many players as you want. It's probably best with fewer than six or seven players, but that doesn't stop you from getting together with a big group, or from social distance, you can all play the game. My family's done it where I point the computer screen at the cards and everyone can see them, and everyone at home can just use a player mat and still play the game together, and that's a lot of fun. I love the fairness in the game. I can never at the end of the game say, oh, I never saw this card, but you did. We all had the exact same cards available to us for the entire game. And it just really equalizes the game where it's not a luck of the draw of what cards did you see and not see. Everyone had the same opportunities. I love the decisions in this game. There are six different action cards that you can take, and there's a lot of different options, but there's no single best one way to do it. All are viable options to win. 
Perhaps my favorite thing about Welcome 2 is when the game ends, I always turn to my neighbor and I say, oh, if I only had seen this card and if we only would have had two more turns and what did you do and what did, why didn't you do this? And I just think that's such a fun thing when the game ends that you're still so invested in the experience that it's not just like, okay, that game's over, whatever. I'm excited to share and to see what's going on with everyone else. And that to me is a mark of a really nice game. I honestly struggled to find a negative about this game. I thought for a really long time. And the only thing I can say is that I always have a hard time explaining the game. And that's because when I explain it, I feel like people are confused by some of the actions and what exactly they do. And they always pick up on it really quick and I wouldn't change any of the actions. So I don't know what I would do differently, but that is one thing that I feel like when people first learn the game, they have a baffled, confused look and they seem overwhelmed, but within two rounds, they really get going. Overall, I give Welcome to an A. And I give it two thumbs up. This is a game that really is one of the most simple and elegant games that I've ever played, and I love it for that simpleness and elegance that it has. There are quite a few variants of Welcome To, and I haven't actually tried any of them myself. I would love to. If you have, I would love to hear what your favorite variant is. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Until next time.